Guys, a quick shout out to um, to FilmCal for making this video possible, and also the um, they made this series. I'm just reviewing it. Uh, I'm just gonna say right now, I love it, and I'm kind of like more leaning towards their side than an actual critic side because I actually enjoyed it because it was like a story. That, um, pretty much told a story like nobody else could. Because I've actually been through somewhat of the same situation as they did. Uh, obviously not to the extent because this was a freaking fictional comedy. But, um, I kind of went to it to some extent. Because in the show, because I'm not making this story about me. But the show pretty much, it shows two people talking back and forth. They have... Just conversations throughout the entire series. Uh, people fucking die. Nukes are let off. Babies' hands are just dropped out of a portal through time and space. It's insanity. But the main thing that I want to focus on is the overall plot. Because yes, it's a comedy. Yes, it wouldn't make sense if you just watched one episode and thought, What the fuck is this? But if you actually watch all of the episodes, you'll understand that it's actually meant to be how they made it. Because they're making like um they made like a series that was like a story kind of where this friendship gets ruined and he can't do shit to fix the friendship. You can't. And it's the same with the story. They show straight away that he just couldn't fix it. He actually couldn't. So when he realized he couldn't fix the damn thing, he just just sat there, looking at his dead body by the end of the episode. Just sad, because he lost his best friend because he fucking fucked it up and didn't get the chance to fix it. Because he was just too much of an asshole to realize he was wrong and he needed to fix it. But he didn't know how to fix it in time, so... It just ended like that, and it's kind of a sad story, but the story is realistic, honestly, and I like this story because how real it is. Other than that, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed so far because- Well, this guy walked in. Okay. So I went up to him. Yes. And I, uh, I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. I thought you were a woman. Why would you think that? Mostly the hat. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some pictures to delete from my computer. Carl, stop avoiding- You've gone too far this time, Carl! What's that? It's hard to hear you over the sound of Melting City. Oh... Carl, what is that? I may have forgot to mention one of my activities. Carl! I apologize, that was wrong. I'm leaving, Carl. What? I'm moving out. It's the meat conveyor, isn't it? You never were a fan of modern home design. Is that the surprise? No. That looks like a meat dragon. Did you finish your meat dragon, Carl? Maybe. I've got nowhere to go. I burned my house down once it had enough swans inside, and I used up the rest of my savings buying the swans. And whose fault is that, Carl? Society. Society and the swans. Carl, please. I really gave you every chance I could. I just... I can't do it anymore. I'm coming in, Paul. I'm sorry if this violates your restraining order, but it's important. Paul? Paul? Oh. I guess you're gone. Carl! Oh, hey! Carl! I didn't do that. Carl!